Hi, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Happy Sunday Drive. Hey, I'm not making sure we're recording. Yeah, we are. Okay. It oh, is flashy, flashy, a nice. beautiful day really here is. in Central Florida. We are, um, right now, we're on a road you've probably seen in a few other Sunday drives, but we have um, some exploration that we're going to Yeah, today. and so let's just start right with the very beginning. If you look off to the right, you yep. can see the new, I think it's a middle school that's yes. being built. And I feel like that's going to be called Water Spring Middle School, which is weird because Water Spring Elementary, Elementary is way down there. But It should be called Hamlin Middle. It should be. But, so, hey, that's what we're doing today. We're, yeah. we're actually going to take you to some places that are under construction. Uh, in the, the southern part of Horizon West, um, people are very excited about a couple of communities that are coming that are just dirt right now. Yep. Speaking of communities that are just dirt, <laughs> there's Lakeside at Hamlin. It is still just dirt. We have four uh, clients that are building houses in there. And they, pr so talk about when you buy something pre-sold, start with that. So we, they, we were pre-selling when they bought oh, that. Like, so huh? it's just, it takes a while to get your house built. Yeah, well, you know, I think we've talked about, and certainly I've talked about this with clients on the phone, that um, given the state of our real estate market, the seller's market, the lack of inventory, um, you know, kind of the, the COVID fallout and how that has affected um, everyone's process and procedure, the way they're going to do things, um, some builders do things differently. And DreamFinders there with Lakeside and Hamlin was doing something differently. So um, instead of doing waiting lists and like that they were pre-selling so there's another community boy, did they. yes they did there's a community called Wincy Groves just just up the street like it's right here on the same road yep. um, very 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 close by and that's where their model homes are they have the Anna Maria and the Tidewater and um, so Wincy Groves was selling and it was near a closeout phase and then they opened up to pre-sell for Lakeside at Hamlin um, even though there was nothing there yet. I mean, it was land, but that was it. Yeah. There was, it, it was, you know, still... Not even a road. No, they were still moving dirt back and forth. Yep. Um, you know, they were still kind of just grading and getting things kind of prepped and ready. But that's a long process. So, I mean, I've had clients that have contracted a long time ago. Like six months ago. Yeah, and they more. still haven't even started construction. But they knew that going into it. It wasn't right. that the builder, you know, threw that whammy on them. It was just, you know... And they, that's... Well, I, just, I wanted to bring that up for today's drive because we're going to show you some communities that will begin pre-selling probably soon. Don't expect to have your home built particularly soon because they still have to do infrastructure and things. You'll see when we get to um, West Haven at Ovation, which is a Toll Brothers community, um, you'll see that they are going to be pre-selling soon. Um, but that's if they pre-sell. If they pre-sell, right, yeah. But I, I would think they will because they can, but who knows? Right, but there are some builders who, like right. for instance, um, like even with DreamFinders, at least at that time in that scenario, not speaking on behalf of the builder, do not represent them. But, you know, one of the things that they're doing, again, each builder's trying to navigate it differently. Yep. Um, and some builders are like waiting lists. Some builders are highest and best offer on homes that haven't been built yet. So that's crazy. Some builders are um, just specking out their remaining home sites and not releasing them until like stage four, which is around uh, pre-drywall stage of construction. Right. But then there are some builders like DreamFinders who was like, well, we're going to go ahead and let you contract now. You can secure your lot and your home. Yep. You can build it, have a pretty typical build process. Um, the only difference is they, um, they may require you to sign like an escalation addendum stating that... Um, Again, don't represent the builder, but ultimately I think the nuts and bolts of it are that they're going to let you contract now, but there's a lot of unknown variables at the moment right. in the new construction process, building material shortages, pricing increases. And so while they will let you contract now at the base price, if they find that by the time they're ready to actually start building, and as we just said, we've had clients six months ago contract, yep. if, if there's a significant change in the cost to build your home, um, they may increase the price of it. At that point, you can either back out you of your out. contract, yeah. they'll give you your earnest money deposit back, or you will agree and they will continue moving forward. But they also increase their base price every three contracts that are sold. So you can also imagine, you know, how much, you know, potential equity you would have in your home. I know you're antsy to say something. I'm not antsy. I'm just, oh, okay. No, you're I'm just good. doing your hands. Like well, I'm, I mean, well, we're getting to the, we're yes, getting to the crux um, of it now. But let me finish that thought. Yes, so, so what they're saying is, you know, we will, we may have to increase the price of your home, but if you've been sitting and waiting for three or four months for your home to come out of permitting, they've probably had very many <laughs> price increases since then. Yes. So if you lock in at maybe a $400,000 base price and they increase it every three sales, you know, 
yeah. you, you can see where if they come back and say we have to charge you more, it might not sting as much. And that's the word I use, which is sting. Lumber prices are going down. That's a good sign. For can I talk about up. that too, though? Can, well, I, Go I, ahead. I, I, no, it's just that we're we're yes. where we're going to be now. Right. So Go if ahead. we talk about lumber prices and whatever, no, I just to we'll mention, be done with the tour we'll and we won't have ever mentioned it. Then talk about your tour, and I'll mention my thing later. No, go ahead. We're at a stop sign. We're at a stop light. Go ahead. Okay. Well, that's kind of my point. So people are like, oh, the lumber prices are going down. You're not going to see anything immediately. So I describe that to my clients. Like if there's a big traffic jam and everyone is stopped, once they release traffic to go, if you're way back behind there, you don't get to go immediately. You have to wait. It has to flush through. And that's kind of what we're talking about with the pricing. So don't get mad because you're seeing on the news that lumber prices are going down. It has to work its way out before it's going to be reflected um, to, so that you can significantly see it. And with some I'm commodities, done. they call it futures. In other words, the, the future price of lumber has gone down. So things that you're, you, they're buying it in the future. Mm-hmm. So for the homes that are under construction right now, they've already contracted to buy that lumber at a certain price. Also, you know, many builders, the, the people are good. Uh, the corporations... Do you think the corporations are going to lower the prices just because, right. hey, no, it costs them a little not. less? No, because prices went up. They're going to fight to stabilize that at the high point. So, Did now, you notice you, they just changed that sign? It doesn't say Flamingo Crossing anymore. It says Hartsog Road. I just wanted to point really? that out. Really? Because that's a, that's part of our conversation. Oh, is that a detour? So there's no. a detour thing that's happening No, it was the actual too, street sign. So you see, so here we're widening Avalon Road. That's mm-hmm. what we're doing. Yes, we just passed Waterlee, by the way, and that Seidel exit that we've referenced yes, before. Yes, many times. And, and we've been here before. We're going to pass in the moment Winding Bay. We're going to pass, um, we're going to eventually get past Encore Ovation and the Western Way Connector. We're going, we're going way south. We're going all the way down to, <laughs> to the edge of Horizon West today. But so th- a lot of the, the development has been sort of, not stalled, but we're waiting on this expansion. So there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff off to our right right now. There's a Waterlee commercial area that's coming there with the Publix and everything. That's off there. This is Story Grove by Lennar. Water Spring Elementary is back that Yeah, we drove you through there a while back. But then Waterlee Phase 4 and 5 go way back behind there all the way down here. So we're crossing now into what, we will, what will be known as the whole winding. We're in the Winding Bay section right now. So there is a, there's a neighborhood called Winding Bay. But this section, I think will just be called Winding Bay because Rockwell Homes that's up here uh, is winding, you know, that's also considered part of Winding Bay. It's Rockwell at Winding Bay, whatever the community is called. Um, So to our right and to our left, more development. Disney is over there, you know, kind of straight to the the left and kind of over there a little bit. So where we're going is is actually south of Disney. So we're kind of like the communities and the building that's happening around behind there. So off to our right is a is is land that will be developed, and you're also going to see some like I was going to call them rock farms, <laughs> but basically, uh, you know, uh, like like a rock quarry. Yeah, or like a quarry. Thank, thank you for finding the. Thing. I learned that from the Flintstones. Okay, Didn't nice. Work yes. At a rock, so, yeah. Older Mr. Quarry? Slate. Mr. Slate. Right. Anyway. Is that a Barney Rubble joke? <gasps> is that a Barney Rubble joke? Well, look at. See, it's on your mind now. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Someone said Elroy, Elroy Jetson, and that made me feel better, but. Oh. I'm Barney Rubble, let's admit it. Okay, so okay. Rockwell Homes on our left. Yep. We just passed K-Hub Nanian. Yeah, we've toured and their Elliott model before. So there is a permit that exists to turn all of this into residential, okay? So now we're getting to, and, and at the next stoplight is Western Way, and so all of that is the ovation area. So the community that's next, so this is Encore at Ovation, right? Where we're going to take you today is, is West Haven at Ovation, where do you want me to go, by the way? Do you want me to turn like there I'm going, going to Encore Ovation no, or no, pass no, it? No, no, okay. no. Just pass it because we, we actually have to go quite a little ways to get yes. down there. Yes. You can see on the on the, the hill here, uh, that's all of the, the, the citrus fields that aren't, I don't think, working citrus fields anymore. That will all be Encore Ovation Phase 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, there will be some commercial development here. And then up here, if you go to the left, that's Western Way. It takes you straight to Disney. All right. We've done that We've done we've that. Done that. Yep. Um, so this, now we're in ovation. So everything you think of can be ovation. Up here to the right. Oh, we're stopping. Um, it's a yellow light. That's good. Are you supposed to stop? No, yellow means go very fast. <laughs> no. So up here and to the right. Okay, we're going to pass in a minute. I don't think you're going to see anything other than citrus fields and trees and things. But it's going to be an area that's going to be likely called serenade at ovation. So um, different builder. 
Um, basically, when you see a name like that, it's they take ovation, right? Mm -hmm. And ovation, so the homes in ovation will be very similar, even if there's different builders. So there's a master plan for Horizon West, but then there's master plans for the individual sections. This is the master plan that is ovation. Make sense? Um, and I can even see some can see some construction back there in the back. Um, so this, where we are now, so picture this as homes and serenaded ovation. So, yeah. so in other words, a lot more growth, a lot more happening. Yes. Tell me about Hartsog Road. We just saw the sign there, but then are we moving Hartsog Road north? I think you we are. You tell me. So, yeah. There's realigning it. Yeah, so there's something in the plans for Hartsog, the Hartsog Road realignment. So all of this down here, we're going to go to Hartsog Road, but the plans actually show Hartsog Road being in here somewhere. Well, and that's what I was going to say was interesting because the new street or um, street sign that literally I yeah. just saw for the first time, it's it's the road that goes into Waterlee, but across this, that's supposed to be Flamingo Crossing. Right. And it literally said Hart, um, yeah. Hardzog. So now this is Hardzog Road detour yeah. coming up here. So now see, if you look right here to the left, I wonder if that's going to, that's the Hardzog Road realignment. I think that's Perhaps. what that is. Yeah. It feels... It feels like I'm right, well, and very often that's all I need. Correct, that's babe. all I need. Um, so over to our right, uh, I don't know if that's Lake Mac or the other one. I'll put it on the map. There's a lake over those things. You can't really see it. Where's um, Lake Britt? That's not there. No. Lake Britt is not. Uh, no, Lake Britt is one of those. So one Lake Mac, Lake Britt. Yeah, one of those two is Lake. Lots of lakes here. Look at you knowing your lakes. Holy moly! So so over to the left, that's Lake Gifford. Right. And you can see out there. Do you see see the ramps and yes. stuff out there? So that is, um, what's the name of that place? East School. Jody, oh, it's left, 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 yes. left, left, okay. that's it. Um, so this is, this is the current Hartzog Road. Um, so yeah, Jody's Ski School is there. Um, so you can see as, uh, I'll yeah. put the drone up there and you can see there's, there's uh, ski ramps and things out there. So I will not be doing that. Hey, there's a big little sign, new signs up front too. So this is what we do. You know, sometimes we drive around, you know, we, we get excited when we see the new signs too, so it helps yeah. us to dig in a little bit deeper. And all we right. do this all the time. So we're, we're exploring like, we should this go, one. Yeah, we should go find out what's out there. So as you come up here, we should be seeing um, West Haven at Ovation mm -hmm. coming up here. So um, tell me about West Haven at Ovation. Who is the builder? What are they building? Uh, Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers is the builder. Toll Brothers is the builder, yep. Um, and I think that also is it like 368 something homes, like that something like yeah that? for that section that's what's permitted right but so. then oh here you go baby yep and but then there's you know there'll be other builders out there I think it'll be close to 1500 to 2000 yeah homes. yeah we looked at the Wowzers. permits we looked at the permit hey, they're, they're building they are digging and by the way in. I don't know if this is a, a, a man thing or if this is everyone gets this way but you see the big diggers out there and you just instantly transform to the Tonka Truck days. So there you are. Yes, West Haven. Coming soon. Yep. Toll Brothers. And so, you know, if you look on their website, they list this as master plan. Mm -hmm. um, so they're not pre-selling yet. Nope. But let's remind everyone again, just because it's always worth reminding them. Should I... Um, should I... No. Uh, call the builder first. <laughs> yeah. Should I get on their VIP list? Okay, hold on. This road looks like it's somewhat blocked. Let's just see what happens, though. But I'm I'm a rule follower. If it yeah. Says road is so blocked, okay. I'm so down in front, it says road around. closed. Well, you're gonna go through it and then turn around when, at your at your earliest opportunity. That's what you're gonna do. Okay. But we're just I know right I know, here, but honey. we're scofflaws. No, we're not. Be scofflaw. Honey, be a scofflaw. Uh, uh -huh. Just okay. Well, then turn around. That's fine. We'll just pull in there for a second. Okay. Um, so over so in front of us right yes. now. That is Del Webb Oasis, yes. right? And I've had a lot of people ask you about that. get out and go up at the top of the hill and look? If you want to, go ahead. I'm going to go look. You you talk to them about Del Webb Oasis, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to go see what's up okay. on top of the hill. If, oh, it's no. a, if it's a gator, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Careful, honey. All right, so um, so Del Webb at Oasis, it's by Pulte. Um, it's another 55-plus community, which... We're excited about. Um, we don't have really uh, any 55 plus communities to speak of, kind of in the in the Winter Garden area. Obviously, there's quite a few out in Claremont that we've talked about before. New ones, meaning um, Esplanade and Palms at Saranoa. There's also resale ones, which is um, oh wow, he's running back swiftly and excitedly. Um, and then you also have like Heritage Hills and Summit Greens. Uh, but you also have Four Seasons, which is in Kissimmee. So it's very close to Disney. So we're definitely excited about this. Now the inside scoop, I know you're going to tell us because you no, saw something. Okay. okay. 
Um, but I will tell you that at the moment they don't even have, and that's as of today, and I say this because I asked yesterday, um, they do not have any designated site agents for um, Del Webb Oasis yet. At the moment, all they have is their online concierge. And if you've listened to the videos before, what are you supposed to do? Nothing. Nothing. Just wait. Reach out to me. Um, and and when we get the inside scoop, we will, we will let you know. Um, because you don't want to, you know, preemptively do something incorrect. Um, not that they're not great people. They're wonderful people. But anyway, so, but they're not pre-selling yet. Uh, if you look at the website, you can look at websites. Just don't sign up for anything. Don't enter in your info. Um, but if you look on their website, although I will say Pulte is, is much better about that yeah, than true, other builders, true, but true. Um, just always be careful. Um, but you can see the floor plans. You'll yes. notice that there's no pricing with them. Huh. But you can start to play and dream a little bit by looking at what floor plans they have to offer. And then once they start uh, getting a little bit closer, again, this all stems from why are they, they can't put a price tag on something right now when they don't know what it's going to cost to build it if in six months that's when they're ready to start right. the official, you know, uh, you know, infrastructure for your home or foundation. So, um, so just hang tight on that, but I'll give you the inside scoop on that. Yes, sir. What'd you see? Nothing. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> no. So there, so there's a little, there's a little mounds there that they, they've put sod down there, but it's all dead yeah, at is. this point, so, but there's other mounds and things and they've clearly kind of moved some dirt around. Right. We'll see it uh, in the distance from the drone footage, but okay. you can go. Okay. Um, but so that's, I I'm only can imagine that's Del Webb Oasis. Okay. It's, there's not much there well, yet. that was not very exciting. I know. All right, so just uh, preemptively, so, because I'm driving and I like to know where I'm going, where yes. do you want me to go when we get back out to Avalon? Left? <gasps> yeah, go left. So we can, we'll, we'll take you down to Earl O'Bronson, which is close so you can kind of see. So if you look over here, that is a, that's, that's like a resort <laughs> area, like short-term <laughs> rental houses, a, a lot, based on what I saw on the map. Um, but again, you, you'll see from the drone a lot of space being built here and and as amy said 1500 to 2000 houses that's a ton of houses. that's a lot of no that's I, a ton and of this houses. is still technically winter garden this is winter garden yeah but it it does it's it's it will feel a bit more connected i say that every time i come out to on Ovation or even winding bay you feel like yeah. you just stepped past winter garden yeah you haven't you're still in it but at some point we're going to hit uh the line because winter garden is not typically um for short-term rental and it's not going to be, although there right. are on the other side of the road, mm -hmm. there is a community and I cannot think of the name of it, but it's going to be about 300 short-term rental bungalows across the street. Um, now it may be back here. You'll see Palisades. It's back here behind Palisades, <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, and I'll put a little thing on the map and show you right. where that is. Um, but hey, it's a good thing we didn't go because there's Johnny Law. No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. It's Orange County. What? Is that what, Inspector? Somebody would have been mad at us. That's Johnny Law. <laughs> well, we would have put it on video that we that we broke the law, and we would never we would never break the law <laughs> on video. Um, so Palisades in front of us. We so Avalon that is ever, that way. So. That's where we came from. That's where you want me to go. So take a left. Take a left. Um, so go to Wawa. That's where we're going to end up. We're going to end up at Wawa okay. because and so so historically, tell them about the why we know that Wawa. Um, I feel like you're interviewing me sometimes when we're like well. That's that. my job. <laughs> You're the so expert on all this stuff. I just, I'm just wah, wah. Barney Rubble and oh, have fun. Man, you're turning, and that's that I couldn't go. It's okay. Wah, right. Wah. So, um, so the Wawa. So when we were building our home here, um, we stayed. You were good this way. Uh, yep. For about uh, was it like maybe ten days? It was our yeah. last big vacation before we moved, and um, it was down in this direction a little yep. bit further, and that Wawa was kind of our. Um, is that what you're talking about? Like that yeah, we yeah. just always go there. That was kind of our, our place marker. Yeah, we stay. Right, real quick, want to look at this over here, T. What is this? What is this talking about? Uh, own, earn, enjoy, luxury, Vacation. the Grove Resort. So yeah, basically, resort. that's the Grove oh, over the there. Grove. Yeah. Expansion. Um, okay. And as you get like a lot of, I don't know if you've noticed, a lot of for sale signs for land. Yes. Well, because it's it's all been pushing in this direction. Well, and think about you know? if you own that little house we just passed. Okay. okay. Um, your land is worth right now. Your land is worth a whole bunch of money. So at a certain point, you know. Um, yeah. you might as well sell it if you, and you know, you can certainly take that money right. and find yourself another home nearby. Right. One would think, but I right. mean, everything, again, there's another one for sale, for, for sale, sale, for sale, for sale for 140 sale. acres. Yeah. But now I don't know, there's a moment here and it may be when we get to Earl O'Bronson, there's a moment here where we're not in Winter Garden anymore. Right. We're not in Orange well, County anymore. I was going to say, we, we kind of hit a line here at some point. Yeah. And I don't know if there's a sign here or not, but, but we are coming to the Wawa, which we will are. be the end of our tour. Oh, it is. Oh, um, sad. Yeah, no, I think it's good. We, okay. we, 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 we do have time? Yeah, I think okay. so. Should we pull into Wawa? 
We should pull into Wawa and we'll go get a soda. <gasps> no McDonald's. We always end up getting a Diet Coke somewhere. Remember those good old days when you were quitting Diet Coke and we mentioned it in the videos? And hey, I tried. You want to tell them about our Chewy's experience? Because uh, I got I, I got tea there. She got tea there. Uh, well, just basically we tried to go to Joe's Crab Shack for our daughter's birthday celebration, and there was no one inside. None. Nobody. Like there was like five people inside, and they're like, "It's gonna be like an hour wait." And I'm like, "But there's no one." Inside. And I literally said to her, "There's no one here." So Chewy's was right next door, and they seated us right away. So we had a lovely time, yes, and Amy did. had a nice tea. No. Um, yeah. I said, "Yeah." Yes, what? I know. Well, we just couldn't get through our dinner. Oh, that, oh, that. Yes, okay. like, we never do anything or go anywhere, and I was like, we're going to go take so a little we, time and we, go have a family dinner. Sure, so we had a client that was closing, but it was a mobile closer, sent the thing, and we, like, basically, some of the paperwork didn't come through, uh, like, via via fax. <laughs> via fax? Well, there's your no, problem, mobile, no, no, mobile notary. No, no yeah. I know, it was an email That's fax. The way that works. I get it, but it was just funny that they were like, it's a fax. I'm like, who faxes? You do when um, you have a mobile closer. I get it, but it's still an email. <laughs> Um, but in any case, um, so they had to resubmit some of the paperwork that was from California. So we had home buyers sitting outside of their home. They just couldn't get access. They so. couldn't get access. And you can't give them access. You can't because right. it wasn't officially closed right. and funded. But the main so. thing is that we didn't have reception inside the restaurant. Yeah. So we couldn't sit and eat. We had to keep getting up and walking outside so that we could uh, manage the situation. So yes. I'm still waiting for the rest of my chewy changa. Sorry. Well, you could have. We'll go back. We'll go back right now. We'll go back. Okay, so we're right, going to end this end this now. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. Yes. Um, so we are, uh, so we told you uh, recently that our, our future son-in-law, Steele, had graduated a thing. We're also looking at the phone because our he finally, he got a weekend pass. Uh -huh. So our daughter, Elizabeth, she should be landing uh, is second. landing any second so um, to go see him at a place her. where they are, which we can't tell you. Yeah. But, but she gets to see him. So we're very excited about that. Um, we're excited that you joined us. Thanks for being here. Barney Rubble out. <laughs> Say your thing. <laughs> stay safe. Stay well. We love you. Happy Outlet Day.